these bitches that smell like fucking belly button and fucking uh, what's that shit called? Earring bags talking shit about me. <laughs> Y'all bitches gotta respect my gangster. I nah, bitches be getting it twisted. Bitches think because like they think they could sue me when I fight them <laughs> that I won't fucking fight them. Anyways, though, you let me relax. Relax. Just relax. Relax, baby. You bitch. Nah, today they said something's today in the air. Today is fine, okay? No, today they said wrong. Well, because I don't know that I'm fine and you got one. So what are you mad But no, it's just that today I, mad I'm mad about I don't know why I'm mad. Like, today I want to fight. <laughs> well, you're not. You're not going to fight. Go get a function back, sis. <sighs> Y'all hear my boo fly ass and see Carolina up in the background letting her sister Cardi know, leave that bullshit alone. Don't be talking like that, sis. You know, trying to make sure that Cardi doesn't mess up all that pretty because Cardi B is fine as hell. So is Henny. So Henny already knows, like, why are we going to waste our time being unproductive? I don't know whether or not that's a word. Excuse my ignorance. But why would we, why would we be unproductive and whoop, whoop on some bitches' asses, give out some spankings, we could just go get that dough, get that sh money. Let's worry about that. Let's worry about handling business instead of slapping bitches. I feel you, Henny. That's right. You raise your sister right. You raise your big sister right. <laughs> no, but seriously, man. Good work keeping her out of trouble because Cardi B is a wild card. She is as crazy as she is beautiful. And she's very pretty. So what does that tell you? That happens very crazy. She said... These bitches are smelling like earring backs and belly buttons. Now, I knew a hoe that smelled like that once. I ain't gonna say your motherfucking name, Amy. But your feet and your pussy stinked real bad. Stinked. Stank. Not even... See how ignorant I am? I said stinked. But anyways, Cardi B is just becoming more successful. Every month, it's like, this lady just keeps making moves. And she has a lot of haters, a lot of people are jealous, and she, and she concentrates way too much on these people, these irrelevant fucks. You have way more fans, literally, not even 10 times more fans than you have haters, Cardi. You have way more than that. You have at least 50 to 100 fans for every hater. No, no, no. Probably more than 100, because I've seen some of the negative comments and whatnot. I would say, yeah, you have more than 100. So we're talking about less than 1% of your fan base. Because like that rapper Swizz, Swizz, he's one of Hobson's boys over there from Funk Volume. Rapper named Swizz, he said something to the effect of, I don't have haters, only fans in denial. He said that in a song with Hobson. I think it's called How You Like Me Now or something like that. But anyways, the point is this. <laughs> look, look at me talking hip hop. The point is this though. Those people. They call themselves hating on Cardi or just like the people who call themselves hating on Meat Magazine. Those haters are actually our fans. And a lot of people who hate Cardi hate me because I stay saying positive things about Cardi because I love seeing her win. Every time Cardi comes out with something new, every time she has a damn smile on her face, I want to talk about it. I don't give a fuck. I am a Cardi B stan because I think she's all that, a bag of chips with a dip. And anybody who has something hate hateful to say about it, I like, fuck you, basically. You're not even just a hater. You're you're freaking pathetic. Like, how could you hate on this woman making all of this growth? She's taking care of her family. She's doing big things. She stays. Uh, listen, she was on a reality TV show for two seasons before she could even fucking shoot the second season. She was already like, I'm not coming back after this. You know why? Because she doesn't have to. She was able to walk away from that show. You have people who have been on these shows for Four, five, six, seven, ten fucking seasons over and over again, same damn faces. Haven't made any true progression or growth in their life. Cardi B only needs to do the shit for one. Technically, she didn't really need to do it for one season, but she did it, and that just made her more popular, more powerful, and made her more profits and promoted her mixtape. And like she said, her mixtape was free, but people were paying for it. Anyway, she created basically a secondary fan base because she had her internet fan base now she has her television fan base see what i'm saying now what's going to happen when she ends up in a movie then she's going to have her movie fan base this is going to have her international fan base you see the vision anyway cardi b is a genius she's a freaking comedic genius she's beautiful 
she could rap her ass off and that's a whole lot of ass to be rapping off so that's a huge compliment i think cardi's everything but this is all my opinion i see what she's doing and she's taking over as she should but anyways i'm a huge cardi b stan of course i'm gonna say that and I wish I wouldn't have been a sucker. You know, I got scared off by the dude from the Migos and I decided to not slide up in her DMs on Valentine's Day. But that was, you know, a huge mistake of mine because who knows what would have happened. Maybe I could have slid up in her DMs and made her my BM. But I didn't because I was hanging like a little bitch. But anyways, let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit Meat Magazine, not blocks by the account for more. Follow me on Twitter, Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 of Google Plus, Meat Magazine blog and Instagram. One of these days, I'm gonna have a cool ass conversation. Convers look at me, so fucking ignorant. I am so ignorant. I'm gonna have a cool ass conversation with Cardi. It's gonna go like this. She's gonna be like, What's up? What's popping? I'm gonna be like, What's up? And she's gonna say, What's what's popping? I'm like, What's up? I'm not even gonna know what to say. She's fine as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm used to crackheads and homeless women. So. I wouldn't know what to say, but I'm going to slide up in the DMs. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to the booty. I'm going to holler. You know, she's going to smack shit out of me, but I'm going to holler and make a fool of myself soon. Y'all going to see it on social media. She's going to be clowning shit out of me. <laughs> Meat Magazine. Don't let the haters get the best of you. Remember, ladies, stay focused, stay beautiful, stay boys. Follow Cardi B and her sister's model of saying fuck the haters because they ain't nobody anyway. Did I just say ain't in a sentence? Anyways, Meat Magazine.